Hello and welcome to the actual final part of uh, part one of the Blender to Unity Tower Defense tutorials. I appreciate that we finished all our modeling, but one of the things I hadn't uh, explained was that we need to export all this stuff ready for texturing and importing into Unity. Shouldn't take us long, but I think it's worth doing now, getting everything ready and set up so that we, we can fly through the next few steps. So what I've done is I've uh, loaded up my turrets all dot blend and what I thought we might actually do here is import the uh, two alien craft that we have into this same file and then what we'll do is we'll save it as a different name and then we can use this one file for absolutely everything so let's do that right now as you can see I've got turrets all dot blend open so hopefully you can remember that one this has actually got everything uh, including that guide cube which you can probably now delete to be honest with you let's delete the guide cube uh, it's no longer required so let's also bring in our two alien spacecraft which I happen to remember the names of so you can do this by clicking on the link option here and if we go to alien craft 02 which was the first one we did object <coughs> alien craft I think the sphere were those uh, normal entries that we did so let's click on link from library and that will create this thing here and you can see it's already there now one of the interesting things is it's quite large if you import an object into blender like this if you link it in there's nothing you can do with it you can't move it you can't scale it uh, you can do nothing with it at all uh, there's a couple of options you've got with this you can actually click on the object you can press L and you can link you can make the object local which allows you to move it around which is handy uh, but it doesn't, again, you can't press tab, it only edits it, so that's quite useful. Th th this is really handy if, if ever you want to have an object in one place uh, for reference purposes, but, or perhaps for a scene where you don't want to um, you know, use a huge amount of memory for the scene and just drag in and link objects from other places. And we're going to do something like that, but what we'll actually do is we're going to link it and we're going to do all. And that's actually going to effectively create a copy of this same um, uh, craft into this file. And now we can tab into edit mode, and let's just check and see if the UVs have exported as well. I'm sure that I'm sure it will have unwrapped. Let's just double check. Yeah, so that's our unwrap, isn't it? Do you remember before? That's one of the more tricky unwraps we did. So let's just tab out uh, because it's local now. One thing that's pretty obvious to me earlier on is that it's, it's rather large. Let's just grab it on the Y and just move it over there, and just grab it on the Z, and compare it to our turret. I think for now I'm gonna go with that size. Not 100% happy, but you know we can we can rescale this in in Unity. I don't think we need to panic too much, and we can you know keep those as prefabs in Unity. So let's let's go with that. And the other uh, let's yeah we'll call it Alien Craft. Keep the same name, and let's also link in our um, our other UFO uh, alien spaceship that we did. So let's link that in there. Uh, we need to go back a few levels and go to Alien Craft 04 Object Alien Disk. Now I think I, I, the reason it's called Alien Disk is because I renamed it. I didn't actually do this in the original file in my original tutorial. I realised it was still called Sphere. So please, uh, if you didn't already, change it to Sphere uh, Alien Disk or something more meaningful. Although you can always do it in here. So we, again, we can't we can't move it at the moment. So let's just click it. We can't really see it. If we do Shift H, there we go. It'll isolate it, and then we'll press L all, and again that becomes a local object. Let's do Alt H again, and now we can just grab. Oh, where did it go? Alien disk grab. Well, one thing that's fairly obvious is that it's um, too small. Let's just hide you a second. Let's click on you and scale you up a bit. I'm not sure quite how big you should be yet. It does. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, from a realist, you know, from a realism point of view, that's kind of a weird size, isn't it? Like a little mini spacecraft with little mini uh, aliens in there coming on the attack. But okay, we'll go with it for now. Uh, something like that looks about right. And guess what? We're going to press Control A, rotation and scale. That wouldn't work, by the way, if you um, didn't have all for make local here. It wouldn't let you apply the uh, the scale. So we've got two. Uh, let's just do Alt H again to bring those back. So we've got our. Um, I haven't positioned them in any way, that's fine. Um, we've got our two uh, alien craft and we've got all of our turrets, bases and stands and all that sort of stuff. So let's let's export these out to a format that can uh, be handled by uh, Substance Painter and Unity and that format is going to be an FBX format. We just need to do a couple of th a careful things here. I'm not going to put them into a Unity folder yet, I'll just put them into a, a separate folder that we can just drag and drop into Unity. Unity is brilliant like that, we can uh, quite easily 
just dra drag and drop it straight into uh, the Unity folder that we create and Unity will update on the fly and do all of the necessary uh, investigation on the, the, the images and the, the FBXs. So let's let's go through those. So let's start with the base. Let's just tab into edit mode, make sure it's unwrapped and it is. And what we'll do is we will make sure it's selected and then we'll click... Oh, uh, let's save this file as something new, by the way, before you... Let's do file save as and we'll call it models all something like that so we know that everything is in here and now if we want to change anything we'll change it in this file here not in the uh, not in the separate files okay so where were we we were clicking on the base so let's uh, that we'll, we'll click on file <coughs> excuse me export fbx and what I will do is I will go to the folder that I created called tower defense models so please you know create your own um, uh, uh, subfolder and just place it in there uh, and you know, what we'll do is we'll create a new folder here called base. Sorry, I'm rambling a bit. Okay, and we'll specifically put that in there, base.fbx. Okay, uh, and I will click on the all important, let's just get rid of these, export fbx options here. Selected objects. Okay, we could have we could have uh, done them all and, and dragged them into one file, but I like to do this individually. You'll probably see why in a minute. It makes it makes life easier. I'm not, I tried clicking this experimental apply tra transform earlier on, but uh, didn't have the the effect I was after. So there we go. So we've got models and base. Let's click export FBX there. That's done. Okay, let's pick the stand cylinder, and then file, export FBX. Guess what? We'll we'll create a folder called stands, shall we? Click here stands and then we'll click on that and this was uh, stand cylinder and it does keep the same settings so that's fine so we can just it's got selected objects so we'll just make sure that's checked click export FBX lovely uh, stand block is selected you can see that there and we'll do file export FBX we can stay in the same folder because that these are the step this is the stands folder so stand Oh, block dot fbx. There we go. Now on to our uh, guns. What comes up? Missile launcher. What we could do actually is we just start hiding these as we. And then this is the missile launcher. So let's file export fbx. Now I was putting these in separate folders. So I'll create a new folder called missile launcher. Oh, lounder. Missile launcher, not missile launder. Click on that, and then missile launcher. .fbx. Okay. Hide that. What have we got selected? The machine gun. So we'll file, export, fbx. Go up one. Create a model called machine gun. A folder called machine gun. Excuse me. Click on that. Machine gun. Press enter hide that, that only leaves the laser gun right, so the file export, nearly there, FBX, go up one, select a folder, laser gun, I don't know, laser gun, and then we will call that laser gun, okay, laser gun FBX, export FBX, uh, we can hide that as well, I guess. Then what's this one? This is the alien craft. This is the big. Well, I don't. I, I can only think to call it alien craft, really. So let's just call it file export FBX. We'll create a new folder called. I don't know. Yeah, a, a, alien craft. I'll we'll call it alien craft or FBX. Hide that, and that all that remains is the alien disk, as I'm calling it now. So FBX. So we'll create a new folder for that. Alien disk. Okay, alien disk. Alien disk. And if we go into our Tower Defense Models folder here, you can see we've got all of them here and it will have created these FBX files. This is great, Substance Painter can accept uh, FBXs. Uh, and as can Unity, and it'll handle them quite well. There's a little bit of cleanup we need to do um, shortly after we go into Unity. Unity does some weird scaling stuff, but that's a little bit down the road. Let's not worry about that for now. We can we can sort that all out. It's very easy. That part, this part is complete. So look forward to seeing you in the next part where we will be starting to texture it, starting with the base. Like I say, please feel free to subscribe and like. I am 
going to do my utmost to answer any questions you have uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.